dude, you're staring at the fries again. It must be so hot in there. Look how crowded it is. They're potatoes. Before this, they were buried alive. Considering where they're going next, this is the party. The fries are done. The timer didn't go off. And this is their party. I'm telling you, they're done. They're done. You're wasting my oil. Take them out. Does Mr. Hutt's constant rage remind you of someone? Remember, from the fifth grade, Hitler? <laughs> I was thinking of our teacher, Mr. Papple, but no question, it would be a huge drag to work in a fast food place owned by Hitler. <laughs> Even though we've only worked here three and a half days, I can totally tell this job sucks. Yeah. Except for the hats. Absolutely, the hats rock. They're outstandingly tall. But Mr. Hutt is a giant gas bag. You're giving away too many and now he's yelling at my lily. And I can't put up with that. Not even if the hats were twice this tall. Did you say you're lily? You talked to her once? Almost. <laughs> Mr. Hutt? Mr. Hutt! <laughs> I can't have you yelling at my lily. Excuse me. Your Lily? Oh, I'm sorry. We haven't formally met. I really like that sweater you wore yesterday, by the way. Thank you. It was beautiful. Like a flower. Who cares? What is happening? Okay, here's the thing, Mr. Hutt. You yell, like, way too much. I mean, uh, seriously, my brother, it's out of control. You want which one? I am Laz. But I'm speaking for everyone here. See, as individuals, we may be afraid of you because you can fire any one of us. But you can't fire all of us. So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna treat people with courtesy? Are you gonna run this place without us? Sorry you're the only one who got fired. <laughs> Can't believe none of you guys backed me up. I stormed out like an hour later. <laughs> it was the end of your shift. <laughs> well, I'm not going back. I don't care how much money they throw at me. Here, look, this is what I was going for. See, that's Spartacus. He's the leader of all those slaves who are basically like Roman fast food workers. And Spartacus leads this revolt, which the Romans crush like gladiators slaughtering fast food workers. But then the Romans say all the slaves can go free if they just turn in Spartacus. I'm Spartacus! I'm Spartacus! I'm Spartacus! I'm Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. See how they all stood together? Is it too much to ask that Yippee Hot Dogs has just one of the qualities of ancient Rome? Sorry I didn't back you up. I'm starting to think I might be a coward. <laughs> What am I gonna do? Now I don't have a job. And my dad and stepmom decided that since I'm turning 19 and they love me, they're throwing me out on the street like garbage. <laughs> I don't understand why they're making you move out anyway. I guess they think I'll be motivated to going to college or choosing a career if I'm fighting homeless guys for my shoes. <laughs> I don't wanna move out. Except for the constant pressure to leave, this is a great place to live. But somehow I have to convince my dad and stepmom to let me stay. But how? How? When they love me so much. <laughs> Is that your dad trying to get out of the garage? Probably. <laughs> you guys lock him in there now? <laughs> I didn't think so, but I don't always read the notes on the fridge. <laughs> it's cool he runs his own business from home. Hey, maybe we could sell stuff on the internet. Definitely, we could do that. But what will we sell? Yeah, that's critical. <laughs> uh, fellas, could you open the door? It wasn't locked. I know, son. 
I'm trying a new moisturizer we just got in. It's made my hands incredibly soft. <laughs> and completely useless. I might as well have flippers. Is Molly home yet? I don't think so. Just need to find an order. Everything all right with you and Molly? Molly? Couldn't ask for a better stepdaughter. Love her. <laughs> it seemed like you were afraid to come into the kitchen just now. Well, her mother tried to set her up with a boy again. Apparently it didn't go very well. You know how Molly can get. But I wouldn't say that I'm afraid of her. She's home. Listen, Dad, I have to talk to you about moving out. I'm not moving out, son. I don't care how bad it gets. So my mom sets me up with this tool, and the first thing he says when he meets me is, I was hoping you looked more like your mom. The good news is, the second thing he said was, ow, my crotch. I think it's rude to meet a girl and immediately mention your crotch. You're right. I should have kicked him again. Hey, Fred. Hey, Molly, how's it going? Molly, what is the matter with you? Hang on, Mom. I'm in the middle of a conversation. I'm fine, Fred. How are you? Are those new pants? These? Oh, in fact, they are. I really like them. Thank you. Were they reasonably priced? I think your mom wants to talk to you. You know what, Molly? Forget it. I was trying to help you by fixing you up with a cute boy, but from now on, I'm staying out of your life. No, Mommy, no. Please, don't give up on me. Wouldn't it be weird if I was really like that? Fine, you win. Just let me do something with your hair, please. Come on, I own a salon. I know things. <laughs> Fred, it bothers me when you check out my stepmom's ass. Sorry. She's been married to my dad since I was eight. She's like my mom. God, I wish she was my mom. No, wait. Ew. <laughs> Molly? Love her. She's so angry all the time. Remember before adolescence when she was nice? I used to take her for pony rides and ice cream, and she'd tell me all about what she wanted to be when she grew up. Ballerina, astronaut. She never said anything about parentating sociopath. Well, we can't just give up on her. You sure? We could focus all of our energy on raising sweet little Gus. Think about it. He's only seven. It's full of potential. I think we'd be backing a winner. <laughs> Rick, we have to do something. I have an idea. Why don't you try this new moisturizer? It smells like peaches. Oh, I'm not done talking about this. Of course not. Take your time. Seriously, this is not going to lead to us fooling around. Oh, I know. No, really. I don't know if that's your plan, but it's not going to... I mean, we are not... We are not... Oh, damn you. know we have sex in the garage? Our kids? I don't think they know we even have a garage. So, what are we going to do about Molly? Yes, I enjoyed the sex and my hands are softer, but I'm still on that. I don't know what to tell you. She won't talk to me. She won't talk to you. The only one she talks to is Laz. We're making him move out. Too bad we can't just fold Molly into a suitcase and have Laz take her with him. Yeah, I'm reminding you she's my daughter. And I love her so much. Well, at least our Laz plan is working. We got a job. You got fired. Yeah. From a fast food place. I know, it looks bad. Really bad. I figured since you're the only offspring of the two of them, and since they worship anything you say or do, maybe you'd have an idea how we should approach them about staying here. OK, first, I just try to make the deadline go away. Tell me a little bump, need me more time. Six months later. Maybe I hit another bump and need a little more time. I like it. Thanks, Gus. You know, you're really good at what you do. Last. Oh, there's my big man! man. <laughs> Dad, Michelle, I hit a bump. With the car? No. Then we don't care. <laughs> anyway, I want to talk to you guys about your recent decision to relocate me to a pea-stained appliance box. Oh, yeah, we wanted to talk to you about that. Um, you don't have to move out. Really? Why? Is it because I'm in the same room as Gus? Actually, we need your help with Molly. Molly? Yeah, you seem to connect with her. I notice that you talk to her even when you don't have to. That's nice. 
We're concerned that if you go, she may miss that connection, get angrier and angrier. One day we'll just wake up and find ourselves living with a screaming monkey. She's not that bad. She's lovely. And if you want to stay, all you got to do is spend more time with her. Be her friend. Take her with you to places. Socialize her like they did in that movie with the human wolf baby. Now she's a human wolf baby? She's wonderful. What do you say, son? I lost my job. You what? I'll do it! What? I feel like baking cookies. Did you want to bake them in my room? No. Then why would I care? I thought we could do it together. Are you high? All right, here's the deal. Your mom and my dad said I could stay here if you and I hung out more. Are they high? Nobody's high. That's what makes it so weird. God, they're so demented. Did you know they have sex in the garage? I did know that. It's gross. My bike's in there. Didn't you hear me knocking? No. Why? Because I was knocking. Loudly? Well, insanely loudly. On the door? Yes, on the door. But would I be knocking on the lawn? Easy. Molly, did you hear him? I'm not sure yet. Let's talk about it for another 20 minutes. No, that's going to have to wait because there's something else. I just got on the phone with Mr. Hot. He says he's not pants for the days we've worked. What? Why not? Because he's Satan, the source of all evil. Also, he's mad we took the hats. I knew my love of the hat would lead to trouble. We should go down there and demand our money. Yeah, and show Mr. Hutt we're not afraid of him. And I'll try not to be this time. <laughs> hey, Molly, you want to go with us to the mall? Sure. Really? If we don't hang out, you're out of here. And that means all their deranged parenting will be focused on me. <laughs> I can't have that. <laughs> Hey, Lily. How's it going? Oh, hi, guys. This is my stepsister, Molly. Hi, Molly. You want a free soda? It's just going to waste. <laughs> you know what goes good with soda? A cup. I don't like the way Mr. Hutt treats people. He's very mean. I can't change him, but I can make him wonder where his beverages went. <laughs> Let's go find Hutt. And we're not leaving till he pays us our money. Yeah, and then we're gonna go get yogurt. <laughs> My parents think those two are a good influence on me. I think your stepbrother's sweet. You know, he got fired because of me. It wasn't your fault. Laz likes to be a hero. He's like Jesus, only if Jesus wasn't the son of God and only a mediocre skateboarder. <laughs> Is it weird being pretty all the time? What? I was just wondering what it's like to have guys go to bat for you. You know, Always care about what you say, listen to your feelings, act like you're important, not be all disappointed when they meet you because you look nothing like your totally hot mom. My dad lost his job a year ago and hasn't been able to find one since. I had to put off college so I could work to pay for my disabled brother's medical bills. I don't think about looks very much. Oh, still. It's gotta be easier to go through all that when you're pretty. <laughs> I'm going out. How sad for all the people who are already out. <laughs> Did you get your money? Will there be yogurt? He wouldn't pay us, and I told everyone we should have gotten yogurt first. <laughs> it helps a little, doesn't it? You need to do more. I've been thinking. What about frying something in his precious oil? When you say his precious oil, do you mean... His cooking oil. Oh. <laughs> Even easier. Excellent. Then we will fry things which normally shouldn't be fried and lead a revolt the likes of which this mall has never seen. So what do we fry? I'd like a hot dog and a lemonade, please. Sure. What you got there? What, this? Just a book? From school? <laughs> <laughs> Want to see what it would look like all brown and... Crispy. I would like to see that. This is so cool. Although, 
it would have been healthier to steam it. You have great hair. Are you making fun of me because I will take you down? No, I wasn't. You're very angry. Maybe you're not angry enough. That wasn't a criticism. I respect it. Oh, thanks. You know, I could learn a lot more from a person like you than I ever could eating this book. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jasper. Molly. <laughs> Here's that polyester sports coat. You know what would be cool? What if we took the hot dog on a stick batter and deep fried everything in Mr. Hutt's office? Hmm. Office on a stick. <laughs> I like the way you think. Are we crossing a line? Are we? She's full on kissing you. <laughs> God, she's hot. I don't care if we are crossing a line. I deep fry the organ I hold most dear to please her. <laughs> Although, thankfully, I don't see how it would. Mother. <laughs> Look what they've done to you. I want to thank them. Yes. And give them a prize for boosting morals. So, whose idea was it? Come on, tell me. Tell me! <laughs> then I will call the police and you will all go to prison for the rest of your lives. <laughs> but. If you do turn in the dimwit responsible, then I promise none of the rest of you will get in trouble. I am the dimwit. No. It was my idea. I am the dimwit. No. Really, I am the dimwit. I am the dimwit. <laughs> I am the dimwit. I am the dimwit. You don't scare us anymore, Mr. Hutt. Because as you can see, we are all dimwits here. <laughs> I'm sorry, were you waiting for me to say something? <laughs> yes. What were you thinking? Just now? <laughs> when you trash Mr. Hutt's office. See, this is why I would rather not parent. It's just frustrating. <laughs> Laz, Mr. Hutt is very upset. He wants us to pay for new office supplies, plus like a billion gallons of cooking oil and a whole photo session for his mother. <laughs> Mr. Hutt is a butt. Right, if a butt had an office and you fried some of the things on its desk and it complained, would you give it money? Again, keeping in mind it was an actual butt. I don't know, that's very abstract. <laughs> also, you involved Molly in this. Now, you were supposed to look after her. We trusted you. Good, honey. I had to hold your head in a toilet till you pass out. <laughs> that felt wrong, even as I said. I'm sorry, son. We think maybe you should move out. All right, I can't lie anymore. Don't make Laz go. It was all my fault. What are you doing? Sorry, guys. Sometimes when I see cooking oil all clean and pure, I just want to mess it up. I'm such a bitch. <laughs> guys, don't listen to her. It was my fault. It was my fault. Now what? I don't know. I got pregnant way too early. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lily, and everything that happened today was my fault. <laughs> We are definitely throwing out that Spartacus DVD. <laughs> 
one of them is lying, one of them is guilty, and one of them has fantastic hair. Come on, honey, I know a place where they can't hurt us. No. I think Laz should move out and Molly should be grounded, if she'll do it this time. You guys are looking at this wrong. Oh, little buddy, this doesn't concern you. No, honey. But what were you going to say? Yeah. Laz was going to take the blame, but Molly sacrificed herself to save him. That's huge. Oh my God, he's right. Hey, Molly's showing an actual human quality. Who's the smartest boy? Smartest, bestest boy. Still, an office has been deep fried. Hello? Yeah, just a minute. Molly, someone named Jasper on the phone says he met you at the mall. Hi. Did you see that? A boy called and Molly acted like a girl. <laughs> she spent the afternoon with Laz and came home with two human qualities. I say Laz must stay. God, we gotta get rid of that DVD. <laughs> well, good, I want him to stay too. And I don't want any more kids. You're making me hot now. <laughs> Let's go tell Laz he doesn't have to leave. He needs any more good news right now. Uh, he always lands on his feet, doesn't he? Mm. Started in the maternity ward. Staff lost him for a few hours, and he turned up in another room being nursed by a supermodel that thought he was her baby. <laughs> Honey, I feel awkward watching my son make out. Oh, right. We can tell him later. Let's go play with Gus. Oh, Gus. <gasps> <laughs> that was weird. My dad and stepmom are watching his kiss. Yeah. Normally I like having people watch when I fool around, but that was weird. Uh huh. <laughs> Wait, did you say you normally. I am so looking forward to getting to know you. <laughs> I decided not to knock anymore. <laughs> you never hear me anyway. <laughs> but now this is awkward. <laughs> staring at the fries again. It must be so hot in there. Look how crowded it is. They're potatoes. Before this, they were buried alive. Considering where they're going next, this is the party. The fries are done. The timer didn't go off. And this is their party. I'm telling you, they're done. They're done. You're wasting my oil. Take them off. <laughs> Does Mr. Hutt's constant rage remind you of someone? Remember, from the fifth grade, Hitler? <laughs> I was thinking of our teacher, Mr. Papple, but no question, it would be a huge drag to work in a fast food place owned by Hitler. <laughs> Even though we've only worked here three and a half days, I can totally tell this job sucks. Yeah. Except for the hats. Absolutely, the hats rock. They're outstandingly tall. But Mr. Hutt is a giant gas bag. You're giving away too many And now he's yelling at my lily. And I can't put up with that. Not even if the hats were twice this tall. Did you say you're lily? You talked to her once? Almost. <laughs> Mr. Hutt? Mr. Hutt! <laughs> I can't have you yelling at my lily. Excuse me. Your Lily? Oh, I'm sorry. We haven't formally met. I really like that sweater you wore yesterday, by the way. Thank you. It was beautiful. Like a flower. Who cares? What is happening? 
Okay, here's the thing, Mr. Hutt. You yell, like, way too much. I mean, uh, seriously, my brother, it's out of control. <laughs> you want which one? I am Laz.